To our Justice Party headquarters, where our Oh Jung Yee is standing by. Jung Yee, what's the atmosphere like over there? Daniel, with voting now officially over, the atmosphere is heating up here at the Justice Party headquarters as well. Um, alongside dozens of reporters and camera crews, you can see behind me many of the party members going into the standby mode as the party's presidential candidate, Shim Sang-jung, is expected to show up in just a few minutes. Results of some exit polls are out, showing single-digit support for Shim, the lowest among the five major party candidates. As for now, many will keep watching live feeds of the vote count in the hope of seeing some double-digit support. Shim cast her own ballot at about 8 a.m. this morning with her husband at a polling station in her district. She emphasized that people need to go out and vote to make fundamental changes in their lives. This presidential election came after massive candlelight vigils. This is an election that will change Korea's last 60 years and change the lives of the youth, women and irregular workers. I know there are still some voters hesitating, so I am going to appeal for their vote, a vote that will bring powerful reforms and big changes. Throughout the day, Shim and her camp continued their social media campaigning efforts to get closer to the public. Shim had a picnic with citizens in their 20s and 30s for a Facebook Live broadcast and told young people that if she becomes the president, the first thing she'll do is to listen to a variety of opinions from the people regarding how to build a new Korea. This is Oh Jung-hee reporting live from the Justice Party headquarters. Back to you, Daniel.